made it to a morning gym session. I feel like that's the first time I've recorded properly in the gym. And I'm not gonna lie, my angles were so off. So apologies for what you watched. I know it's not like the greatest to watch, but um, I'm gonna take you guys along to like more gym sessions. But I thought I need to introduce this video. It's a vlog, as you can see. Hey Ray family, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. We are inviting you in. Come and join the Ray family. If you're not, Y'all the real MVP. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming to support me with another video. So um, today is kind of like a day in the life. Or it's going to be, it might be a weekly vlog. Yeah, I think it'll be a weekly vlog. Yeah, guys, this is going to be fun. Today, um, I've got a lash appointment in the morning at 9.30. I went gym at 5.40 or 5.30. It's now like, I think, 7 a.m. And I'm about to go and have my shower, get ready, like, for the whole day. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my lash appointment, and then from there, we'll go to the office. So, that's basically the plan for today. Don't know what we're eating tonight, though. Need to figure that out. Don't know what we're eating now, either. Need to also figure that out. So yeah guys, hope you enjoy this vlog. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe from now. You don't have to do it at the end, you can do it from now. Um, and I'll see you guys in a little short while. Bon appetit guys, come and eat with me. I hardly ever have breakfast, um, and today after gym, I was starving. Mm. I wanna see if I can get some editing done as well before I leave home. I didn't even realize it's International Women's Day, so I wanna quickly do a story post, like just reminding women how amazing we are, because I feel like we always forget, like, guys, I will never get over like being pregnant and childbirth like i've never been pregnant i've never had childbirth yet we're the only like <laughs> we're the only people that can do that like women are the only people that can carry a child for nine months your boobs turn to milk like i know it sounds bare random but guys like our bodies are amazing our existence is amazing because we multiply we are fruitful you know like it's it's just amazing what we are able to achieve even down to like what happens to us every single month like mother nature we don't like you but we know that you need to be there and we we're able to manage that the pain the threshold of that like we're just amazing beings so yeah i really need to shout out my women because without us there's no world. <laughs> Happy International Women's Day to all my women out there. Like, our existence is amazing and we deserve a day to be celebrated. Even if no one's celebrating you, celebrate yourself and celebrate other women because we are so amazing. What our minds can do, what our bodies can do, yeah, we deserve to be celebrated today and every single day. And I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely day. And I just wanna say, be, in be inspired, be empowered. No, I don't wanna say that. Happy international. Like, I can talk, but after a while, I'll go to like a rant. Like, what are you talking about? So interesting. And I just want to understand that today's your day, baby girl. Okay. Your day, baby girl. Okay. I like it. I deleted it. Great yourself and another woman, or more than one woman, because we are so amazing. What our minds can do, what our bodies can like guys like we're actually very special and i want you to know that so love on yourself today like look after yourself today self-care should be top of your priority today and every single day just enjoy yourself have an amazing day but for me to do like guys like we're actually very special and i want you to know that so love on yourself today like look guys i just want to say happy international women's day actually very special this will have to do to
lashes are all done. Don't know if you can see it. There we go. Oh, my my uh, camera wants to die um because I recorded that whole thing. But yeah, this is how they look. Love them. They were infills done. Yeah, I love them so much. Um, I'll see what else I can record today because my camera's dead. <laughs> morning guys so it has been a little while since i've picked up my camera i cannot lie um i'm just trying to quickly sort out my hair for work not doing anything fancy to it i can't lie like it's literally i don't even have baby hairs out but it's because we are going to a wedding later so i just thought you know what? i don't want to do too much to my hair i don't want to put too much products in my hair because i'm gonna have to put loads of products in later and i'd really appreciate it if i didn't have to do that twice um but i am gonna do like some baby hairs in the front not not do them but you guys know what i mean so the products i've been using is this silk mist edge control this silk mist edge control is actually the truth guys like it's so good i never ever find something that can lay my hair all day and this lays my hair literally all day and i just love that because it's so hard to find sometimes like honestly um but yeah it's been a while since i've picked up my camera um i went to a new look event so i'll insert clips of that <laughs> that was really good had such a good time meeting the team meeting everyone like honestly new look is such a great brand like such a great brand i'm so glad like you know i'm able to work with them and be affiliated with them because they just believe in some serious like you know they believe in such good things and i like a brand who has values and you know just makes makes a lot of sense so yeah packed my hair i'm gonna put um my scarf so that it can just you know lay down the hair because like i said i haven't put much in it at all i feel like my hair is currently i'm trying to have it out because i feel like i've literally just had wigs on for just so long that i needed my hair out and there's a few things that i need to buy I'm currently speaking to my um my supplier but i was speaking to one of my friends this morning and i kind of wanted to share this with you guys as well like i feel like i'm learning so much about relationships because i've been able to open my eyes and before like i don't feel like my eyes was as open as they are now and i was just saying to her like you know when we as women we look for guys like you know we're always ready like we're always prepared we're always like yeah like you know you want to um, start dating because you're ready to be in a relationship and it's so important that the same way you treat that is the same way i don't know why i feel like i'm just this relationship person but whatever it's the same way you need to treat it as well like when it comes to your person that you're trying to match yourself with like they need to have prepared for you because as females we prey on these things we manifest Vest these things we we are intentional the type of guy that we want but if we're now going for a guy who hasn't actually prepared a table like think about it this way you've got guests you didn't even know they've knocked on your door and your house is just not prepared for them you didn't prepare dinner for them you didn't do anything you have to start thinking okay what can i get you i'm so sorry like this is all i have no honey that is not all you have because you are more than that you need someone who has prepared the table before you in the presence of your enemies i'm joking but yeah you need someone who's prepared the table too like they have to have been intentional too like they have had to have made room for you in order for you to be like okay do you know what i belong here you know like i belong here you belong here because we both agreed that we have prepared ourselves for this moment and if you lower your standards to a person who has not prepared themselves for you i'm sorry sir or madam or woman or whatever i'm sorry but you haven't actually allowed that person to take in all that you are because they haven't even processed the fact of them even preparing for that person in their life right it's crazy just talking to her today and when i said that i was just like that is so deep like when i think about my failed relationships genuinely that's what i think about i think about the fact that 
none of them was prepared for this greatness so they didn't know what to do with this greatness do you know what i mean like it's it's almost like as well receiving so much i don't know like opportunity that one go and being so overwhelmed because you wasn't prepared for it and that is why another reason god makes sure that he allows us to be prepared for whatever blessing that comes our way because when it comes we know we deserve it because we've worked hard for it but if it just springs up on you sometimes we don't know how to work well under pressure and i for one just know that it's so important and so key for someone to have prepared for my existence because my existence is present not confused not just show up like i don't just show up do you know what i mean you don't just show up like yeah so i'm sorry guys for coming and talking again and giving you guys some wisdom but i do feel like that is my calling this year like my calling this year is wisdom and sharing motivation and just being so intentional with everything that i do and i just want to pour into you guys so much this year like so much so i hope that helps just remember you're the prize like you are genuinely the prize so yeah so i was gonna go into the office today but i'm thinking i'm not going to I'm gonna call my sister first. Um, my friend's also getting married, so I have to drive all the way to Alton, which is like an hour and 30 minutes from me so far. But Stephanie, it's your wedding day! <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so that's gonna be so good, but I'm not gonna get there till late because Christy has to work, um, and then we're gonna go after. Also, guys, so sad, right? But my hard drive broke, um, which has all my Final Cut Pro, everything that I do for you guys. So I'm trying to call up um, the people who made my hard drive to see if it can be fixed. But I'm hearing that it's bad news, but I'm trying for the sake of you guys um, to, see, to see if I can get it sorted out. Hello, my name is Amanda. Thank you for coming to support. What's your name? Hiya, my name is Lara. You know what I'm doing right now? I've got... KP Tech Solutions helping me out. This is my memory device, right? Which has all my YouTube bits on. He's showing me like over over Instagram. Instagram is an amazing place. Um, because I put up that I was struggling to get my device. Um, well, my storage and I needed my content. So he's currently talking to me on how to hopefully be able to get my storage and maybe i have not lost the salon stuff so i've unscrewed it what now hold on let's message him and see okay so i've unscrewed it um what do i do now okay so i've unscrewed it uh, i called seagate so that's where i got it from and they said because of how old it is there's not really anything they can do which is quite upsetting seagate um you need to do better but i think also this is a lesson for me to make sure that <laughs> can't rely on these things can you but if i find out how to sort this out then it just means that all the time i'm gonna be good just waiting for his response i'll be back once he responds i think it's gonna work and if it does i'm gonna be so happy oh my gosh I'm gonna be so happy. It really stresses me out because I know people have so much issues with storage devices. So if this works, we may have conquered something here on Lala Ray's channel, mate. I'll definitely at the guy who helped me so he can help you guys because I know there's people who literally have cases right now and they don't know what to do with it. My device. And um, they were just like, no, there's nothing we can do. And even if we take it to the lab, it's going to cost you. And he tried to save £50. And this guy basically showed me what to do in five minutes. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah. I just feel like there needs to be more people like that in the world. You guys are wondering what I'm doing. I'm just emptying out my dishwasher. I know this is my channel, but it's our channel, if that makes sense. Um, hair growth, though. Like, I had... I had it cut, so there's not really a hair growth. <laughs> but um, yeah, <sighs> having to get used to this forehead because you know when you have frontals all the time, <laughs> you're like you get used to that looking like your hairline, and then you take it off, and you're like, shit, damn, who the is that? But apparently, pretty girls have big foreheads. 
word to Rihanna. Thank you so much for helping us out, sis. Um, but yeah, I'll have that and then I'll show you guys. I went gym yesterday. I didn't record that gym session. I wish I did. I may have a snap though that I can show you of what I've done. But my back, my back is on fire. Like genuinely, I can't feel it. And I'm going to have to wear heels today because I'm going to, I'm going to a wedding. Okay, so are you guys seeing the vision? I'm going to put some extensions. But I am going in with this baddie, guys. I've told you how much I love this thing. Like, literally, it just slicks up all the hair and does what it needs to do. So, we're going to pack this. I'm going to cull this. Um, and I'm going to use... i got some new G GHD sent to me. So, we are going to use that. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what? I hate as well putting gel in my hair because you know like once you do you know like okay you're getting closer and closer to wash day that's literally how i feel so excited to be able to be at stephanie's wedding like honestly it's gonna be so 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 good and i know she's so excited she's been snapping as well and like just getting ready for the big day and i genuinely cannot wait to see it i love this edge it's just it's like let me show you how it looks so it's clear i just love clear edges i just feel like it just makes so much sense for the hair like look at that guys look at how it just edges <laughs> I got this brush from Savers and I like it because you can do so much with it. I wish I did have a, you know, like the proper brush that we used to use back in the days, but I don't. But I'm hoping you get the vision. I'm hoping I get the vision too. Because if I don't, then this is very awkward. Okay, so that's a small one. Now I'm going to add some hair. I've got new hair as well. Um, these are bundles from Silk Mist, but I've got some older ones. And I kind of want to use the older ones because I feel like the older ones like go better with your hair and stuff. This is not really neat. But I think it's nothing. Um, I kept my hair out because I'm going to curl like all these bits. I'm going to curl this bit. And I want some of this hair to overlap. I'll be back. <laughs> Guys, I think it's slowly, slowly coming together. I had to like chop some of the front wall to like get down to size and stuff. I'm just trying to neaten it up. You know what, yeah, even growing up, I never played with my hair. So, this is just so interesting to me right now. And it's a wedding, so let's see. We're putting this edge control. Well, obviously I know it's good, but we're putting this edge control to the test, boy. Okay, I think that's that's good. And then this bit will drag into my part of my hair. So I'm just gonna have to put my hair on. We'll curl these bits as well. And we'll curl some of the back bits too. We are gonna leave it and I'm gonna be back in a sec, okay? Yeah, I'll be back. Just cut a bit of this off. Hope for the best, don't we? Okay, last but not least. 
One thing about me is when I'm getting ready, this room's going to become a mess. And that's what's happened. I want it more like this. I think I have too much hair out on this side. I don't think it needs that much. Need to secure this bun. Okay. Right, guys, I'm going to rush... But I think, I think we've just about secured it. Need to secure this with a clip here. And going to use my unplugs on my part of my hair. Oof, I did not like that sound. The way my hair literally just did. Okay, I think this is cute. I'm actually going to take these with me because they are fully charged and yeah, they were fully charged. They're fully charged and I'm going to need them when I go. I need to pull the other side of some edge. Alright guys, I'm gonna be back, okay, because I need to rush. Okay guys, I have everything in my hand. Going down. But this is my hair. And I'm wearing this old dress from O Polly. So I'm wearing a really old dress from O Polly. And I can't zip it up by myself. So I'm gonna have to do it later. I've got my Alexander Wang heels and my YSL bag. Hi. They already don't like it. Oh, wow. I've vlog yet. I've I haven't even watched it yet. You don't want to watch it. No, I need to watch it. <laughs> There's Lara, she's driving. Hi guys, we're on our way to Stephanie's <laughs> Whoa, Congratulations, Stephanie. Whoa. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Should we say? Um like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Yeah guys, make sure you okay. like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. The hair actually didn't come out too bad, did it? This light's been red for a minute. Do you like this little curl thing? Yeah, I love it for you. For me, do you like it in general? I love it for all of us. No, I love it. It's nice. It's actually nice. Okay. It came together very nicely. Thank you. I'm so proud of myself. You know this bit's my hair. What is it? And then I added a bit of like the hair to drop down like a drop down boy. Did you hear that, guys? She added a bit of hair to drop down like a drop down boy. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so we're going to the petrol station. It's on the right hand side. You're going to see it shortly, Laura. Okay, something. Um. Yeah. So we're going to Alton. Alton. Alton, that's where the wedding is. But to be fair, is it Alton or Alton? Because Alton, yes, that's what they call it, but Alton, Alton Towers. Is it where, since Laura's here, oh, yeah. is it called Alton? Is that where Alton Towers is? Not being funny, but 178.9, like, pour me a bloody glass of wine. <laughs> Flip. Alright. Good morning, guys. Um, I didn't record. So, this time I'm blaming it on Christiana because Christy decided that she was going to leave the vlogging camera inside of the car. Um, the wedding was so beautiful. Like, I'm so happy for you, Stephanie. Thank you so much for allowing us to be part of your union. Guys, this place is my storage, so... Yeah, we don't look it. I should have creamed my face. That's what I should do. But yeah, Stephanie, thank you so much for allowing us to be part of your union. We really... We really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you had the most amazing day and you just enjoyed yourself so much because you deserve all the happiness, you deserve everything that comes your way. Um, and I pray that this will be the start of, well, to be fair, Stephanie's been married, so some people might not know, Stephanie's actually been married for like a year, but because of the pandemic, the actual white wedding had to be postponed. So that's what we did yesterday. And it was just so lovely. Um, but yeah, praying God blesses you and PJ's union. We love you so much, guys. Yeah, it was really nice. It was far, but it was nice. Like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so, 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 so much. <laughs> Right, the company's done. Right, <laughs> 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 <laughs
Um, I need to leave, like I'm so late. I didn't even do my hair guys, like I've literally just packed it up. Um from yesterday, like even the size I literally just brushed it in, like I'm sure it's not even inside of the the actual bun, but I cannot I cannot care right now. But my teeth are changing colour because of them. Um ah. but at the end of it I'm going to get teeth whitening, so it's okay. Not the worst. I'll insert some clips of the wedding, as I always have to do because I just don't do things properly. There we go, there's a moisturized face. I need to put on my SPF and then we can go. I don't know what I'm wearing, because right now, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Right guys, so finished hoovering. That took me forever and a day, but I'm so glad it's done. Like I'm so glad it's done. Just need to do my um pillows and put my like little blankies away, but I'll get that done. I need to also wash some clothes, so I need to do that as well. But today I am working from home. I've got some editing that I need to do for Labello. So we done like a Mother's Day shoot, which I'll insert here. And then in the evening, I'm gonna go see Carfi. I'm sorry I look like this, but I'm at home, so. Am I sorry? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see Coffee this evening. I can't wait. Like, my manager messaged me last minute yesterday and was like, we're going to see Coffee. Well, she was like, she's going. Do I want to come? I know it's last minute. And I'm like, Coffee? Yeah, she got me through lockdown. Like, where will we go? When the quarantine thing... Da, 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 da. Yeah, anyways, I love her. So yeah, we're going to go to her. I'll definitely be taking my camera as long as they permit for me to be able to record, which I shouldn't see as an issue. It's a dress down event. I love that for me. And that's it, really. That's all I have for today. I'm going to make a bit of brekkie. Don't know what I'm eating, really, to be honest. Might make an omelette. Yeah, I might make an omelette. But um, for now, I'm just trying to clear up um, and clean up because I feel like on Thursday mornings is the only time where I'm like, I'm at home. Like, you know, so I just want to kind of clear up, get this place looking cute. I've got my friends coming over tomorrow as well. So I'm hosting them. So I want to make some food. So I'm kind of contemplating as well whether to start making small, small things now um, just because it will make my life easier. So just figuring that out. Hey guys, so I'm about to get ready for the coffee event. Um, I'm gonna charge my camera so we can have a great time. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I am all done up. I'm ready, I'm looking bold as hell, like a bolding eagle. Um, but I wanted to quickly shoot a reel. So I thought you guys could see, <laughs> I thought you guys could see what I do like for the reel and stuff, so. Just gonna put my phone here. Show you guys like the setup. Um, I have the most small, smallest space, so I just try to work with that. Okay, so I'm completely out of frame. Hi, guys. So we're um, off to see Copy. Um, we've just got to Brick Lane where she's performing. Um, I love coffee, so it's gonna be a good vibe. I'm with Rachel. Hi is this your first time being on my channel? Yes, what? No, it's it actually not. Is. Wow, okay, so yeah. this is Rachel's first time being on my channel, but <laughs> yeah, guys. you guys will see more of her anyway. So, we're gonna go get some food. We're in Hoxton, you know, on a Thursday night because why not? Like, who doesn't go out on a Thursday night, isn't it, Rachel? Mm -hmm. Why not? So yeah, we're gonna go to this place. I really love their food, guys. It's called Red Dog. Red Dog. 
and they do like philly burgers it's so yummy like so yummy so we're gonna go there get some food and then we're gonna go home <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm getting myself back into the swing of vlogging. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Yesterday we celebrated Nikita um, and her brand La Foi London, which was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna put some bits and bobs on the screen. No, I cannot. This place is gorgeous. show you guys how good it was um, but it was so good and it was so nice to just be around so many women who are doing their thing in different ways and it was nice to network as well like I feel like I forget how amazing these events are in terms of just getting to know people you know sitting down dinners are so intimate and it just feels so nice to sit down and just talk um, but yeah so I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you guys have enjoyed it it's been even I'm gonna have to watch back and be like what has actually happened because I feel like it's been going on forever but we're at the end of the vlog I'm gonna keep vlogging if you did enjoy this make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye